This microwave chocolate chip protein cookie has 264 calories and 17 grams of protein. And the best part about it, it's only gonna take you five minutes to make. Here's how it's done. I'm one of those people who needs to finish off a meal with something sweet. These microwave chocolate chip protein cookies are one of my go-tos for an easy, satisfying dessert that doesn't completely blow up my calorie goals. To make it, place a microwave safe bowl over a scale and get to measuring. Weight measures are always going to be more accurate than volumetric, so I have to recommend that is what you follow here. Into that bowl, add 13 grams or roughly two and a half tablespoons of oat flour or all-purpose flour, then add in 12 grams or just under a half a scoop of vanilla casein protein powder and mix those two together until they are evenly combined. This will help to ensure that you don't get any big clumps of protein when you mix the dough together. Next, add in 60 grams or one fourth of a cup of milk. I used 2%, but any kind will do. Lastly, you're gonna add in one tablespoon or 16 grams of peanut butter. A quick tip for some of you who may not be familiar with using a scale to measure, taking weight away from the scale works in the same way that adding weight to it does. So when you're measuring sticky things like peanut butter, it's often easier to place the jar on the scale, tear it, and then scoop out your desired weight. Now you can mix the powders and peanut butter into the milk to form the dough. I like to use the back of my spoon to break up the peanut butter and stir it a bit into the milk first because it helps with clumping. After you've got the dough mixed up, spread it out evenly into the bottom of the bowl and then top the cookie with 8 grams or about 15 chocolate chips. Sometimes I like to use mini chocolate chips when I make this and mix a small portion of them into the dough to get some more even distribution of the chocolate. To cook the cookie, move the bowl into the microwave and zap it for about 90 seconds or until it has set throughout. Squeeze in a little sneak of extra chocolate chips for an appetizer while the cookie finishes up, and then once the 90 seconds are done and the center has set, it's time to enjoy. This microwave chocolate chip protein cookie has about 264 calories with 17 grams of protein. Protein cookies are hard to make without the use of a lot of sugar and fat. That unique texture that cookies have comes as a result of the sugar and fat. So this protein cookie doesn't share that same texture, it's a touch breadier, but it still has a wonderfully soft and chewy, enjoyable bite. The sweetness in this cookie comes from the sweetener in the protein powder, as well as the sugar in the peanut butter and chocolate chips. That peanut butter also serves as the supplier of fat for the recipe. Being able to whip this up in about five minutes and provide me with a sweet, macro-friendly treat is a great trick for me to keep in my back pocket. And now for the age-old question that comes with all protein baking recipes that I know many of you are asking. Can I use whey protein? Normally the answer is an automatic and immediate no. However, because I'm a man of the people, I'm going to give it a go and see what comes as a result of using whey protein in this recipe. So into a bowl, I'm adding the flour, whey protein, peanut butter, and milk in the same measurements as before. The only difference is the whey for casein swap. After mixing it together, you can see that the dough is more of a batter and much less viscous. This is a result of the protein structure of whey protein versus casein protein and its properties after being mixed with a liquid. It's what makes casein a better choice to use when baking, but we can still top it with chocolate chips and toss it in the microwave to finish our little experiment. Another 90 seconds in the microwave, and I was surprised to see that the whey-based cookie actually did set similarly to the casein cookie. The chocolate chips sunk into the batter as a result of it being thinner, but other than that, the final result doesn't look too terribly different than the casein version. What really matters though is the texture and the taste. Most whey-based baked goods are dry and tough, but this particular cookie seemed to be at least serviceable as a protein-based dessert. It was slightly drier, and when chewed, it wants to stick to the teeth a bit, but the flavor was similar. The texture and flavor was at least a few percentage points worse than the casein version, but if you don't have any casein available, the whey can work, just keep in mind that the casein will be better. Another swap that you can make is changing out the peanut butter for about 10 grams of powdered peanut butter in its place. Adding in an extra 5 grams or so of milk may be necessary to help with the extra powder. Making this swap is going to cut back on the fat from the peanut butter and it's going to decrease the caloric load to about 214 calories and slightly bump up the protein to 18 grams. See that? That's 28 sweet teeth. Some people have one sweet tooth. I've got 28 of them. I used to have 32, but then the United States government in conjunction with my dentist took away four of them because I said I'd be too powerful if I had all 32. I would eat cookies, candy, and ice cream for every meal if I could, but if I do that, I'll get fat, so I can't. And that's where recipes like this microwave chocolate chip protein cookie come into play, because I can still satisfy my sweet tooth, but stay within my goals. These recipes aren't made to be a one-to-one -one substitute of the real thing. Obviously, a real chocolate chip cookie is going to be better than this. For 264 calories and 17 grams of protein, this microwave chocolate chip protein cookie is going to be much easier to fit into my day than a pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream would be. Some of the protein-based desserts are better than others. I think that this microwave chocolate chip cookie is one of the better ones. My favorite, the protein cinnamon rolls. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link right here. You can go watch that. That's it for this week. See you next time.